Welcome to the Online Super Coach Podcast. Today we have a very special guest. Um, so today we have a guy who has started his, uh, on, his online fitness business over 10 years ago. He scaled that to $25,000 a month. And then he decided to start another business to teach other people how to do that. And he called that Online Super Coach. <laughs> That's right. Today we have the founder of Online Super Coach back here, back home with us at Online Super Coach headquarters, AJ Mirzad. Welcome, AJ. <laughs> Dennison, thank you for having me. This is kind of surreal because I started this podcast in 2015. I did over 300 episodes, and then when you took over the business, I essentially uh, never thought the day would come where you'd interview me. So <laughs> I'm honored. This is really cool. So uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but we usually like to start the podcast with a phrase or a mantra, something that motivates you, that speaks to you. So do you have one you'd like to share with all of us? Absolutely. My <laughs> favorite question to answer and ask. My mantra is to maximize this moment. I feel that this present moment is all we have and a thinking exercise and a philosophy I have is this is it. Uh, what if this was the last podcast interview we would ever do? How can we just give it our all, be yeah. present to the moment? Anything outside of this doesn't exist. It's here and now, just giving all we can to the audience. So just maximize this moment and give it all we got. I totally, totally agree. Some people like to think about the past and the future. You got to like live in the moment, 100%. I yes. mean, I was just, just so funny you said that because I was listening. I was looking for an old picture or something a few days ago. And I came across all these old pictures of my kids and oh, I wish I was back there. Like when they wow. were like, you know, like five years old, you know? Yeah. And it just goes That's... so fast. Yeah, next thing you know, they're gonna be 18 years old and getting married and yeah. having kids of their own. It just yeah, happens so quickly. Moment. Enjoy where they're at right now. Grandpa Dennison soon. Absolutely. So for the audience who doesn't know, why don't you uh, talk a little bit about how you started uh, your online uh, coaching business, your online you know, fitness business, and you know, where that came from, you know, why, what motivated you to do that, and we'll go from there. Yeah, I was a personal trainer for uh, about a decade. Started out in the year 2000, and I just went through a lot of tumultuous things. Uh, we had 9-11. 2001 and then 2008 we had the major economic crash and that scared the crap out of me because at that point I had a thriving personal training business. I was doing group training, I had a trainer working under me and then like half of my clientele fell off because they couldn't afford it, right? Fitness was a luxury, not a necessity. So after losing all this money, I had to figure out new options. Uh, 2009, I was doing a lot of research about online training I don't know uh, how to start or like what to do. There was a guy at the time, his name was Chris McCombs. He was a genius at the online fitness marketing world. He had a phenomenal blog. I was reading his blog posts, watching his videos. He was super smart when it came to online training and online marketing. So I basically uh, realized he had, he had a coaching program. It was an application we had to fill out. Fill out the application. He got on a phone call with me and he said, AJ, uh, I could coach you and I feel like you have a lot of talent. You're really good inside the gym. I can help you build an online business. Uh, the coaching is gonna cost $5,000. And I was like, holy cow, that's a lot of money. Uh, I never spent $5,000 on a coach. Especially back then. Back then, yeah, 2009. But I kind of knew that he had something that was gonna help me. And I never worked with a coach before, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to follow through on what he's gonna say, or what if he didn't give me the right advice and I just wasted the money, right? So I said, you know, screw it, let's do it. I put $5,000 on my credit card, and I remember like the moment I invested, I just got this newfound energy because I thought about the future, this online program I was gonna build, the income I was gonna make, and, and finally figuring out a way to not rely on the personal training gym income. Yeah. And uh, the first phone call, he just said, AJ, just forget about everything you know. Just do these three things, implement them, and then next week, I'll give you another three. And I'm like, uh, that's it? Just three, yeah, just do these three things. And I just did those three action steps and then gave me another three. It was like a step-by-step -step process. But next thing I knew, my income was going up. 
I started to build an online program. He taught me online marketing, uh, SEO, how to run Facebook ads, copywriting, which is a phenomenal skill, how to sell with words. And within two months, I quickly started generating online revenue. And then I started building my first online business, right. 2009, 2010. So that's, that's phenomenal that you were able to do that so quickly in just a few short years. What, what made you think to start an online Zupra coach and help other people do the exactly same thing of what you did? Yeah, I remember I was hearing about people doing online personal training back in uh, 2008, 2009, but seeing like these people are so smart and they're just like geniuses with marketing or how to position themselves or they had big, big followings on YouTube and they're just selling online programs in uh, Skype coaching at the time. We didn't have the technology that we have today. It was very rudimentary back then. But I knew that there were people that could teach me how to do this. I wasn't a big celebrity. I wasn't a smart marketer. So I knew if I hired a mentor who already had a successful online business, they could teach me what they did, all I do is follow their step by step process. By investing, it sped up my time. Instead of doing it on my own, maybe taking five to 10 years to build a business, I did it within 12 months by hiring Chris. That's where you saw the value. Yeah, the ROI, uh, but I saw the future because again, I, I wanted to eventually start a family, I wanted to travel. When I got sick and I couldn't be in the gym for three, four days, uh, all those sessions got canceled and I lost hundreds of dollars of personal training income, yeah. right? I was trading time for money and I knew long term that was going to work out for me. Yeah. I didn't want to be an elderly personal trainer, just training clients for decades and decades and decades, just working, but having nothing to show for it. I knew with online training, I can now leverage myself instead of being in the gym, I could create a program one time. Canon clone myself, set it and forget it, and then automate it, market it to people, sell it, but instead of me training them hours for dollars, the program, the virtual infrastructure would train them on behalf of me. Yeah. And this was a, a cool concept that I was so excited to create because it was one, creating the online business and then learning how to get the clientele from the internet, not just my local area, but uh, na nationwide and then eventually globally, different countries, and then learning how to sell. Uh, selling through copy, uh, website, webinar, and then selling on the phone, selling high ticket online fitness coaching. So very quickly I, after I learned those skills, the business started to take off and then I was um, asked to speak at different personal training seminars and fitness events because I was one of the first guys that had a successful online fitness business. Yeah. AJ, how'd you do this? Uh, I started to share my strategies, how I got the clients to share my Facebook ads, the softwares I was using, the apps I was using. And then I realized like, wow, all these people at these seminars, uh, they're, they're asking me to coach them. Yeah. And I realized it was a big uh, underserved need in the fitness industry of teaching online personal training back in 2011, 2012. Right, right, right. So really this guy, this person, Chris, who I guess, was he one of your first mentors? Yeah, person? he was my first mentor. The first time I spent money on a business coach. Yeah. Yes. So would you say that he was a pretty big turning point in your life? Oh my God. It opened up not only your fitness, uh, online fitness business, but it actually birthed the eventual idea for Online Supercoach. Yeah, I mean, it shifted my whole perspective because prior to him, I was reading blogs, watching YouTube, reading books, and I was not able to implement a lot of those ideas or information. However, hiring Chris showed me a new world because the $5,000 that I invested in him made me, uh, not just within that 12 months, six figures, but multiple six figures, if not millions of dollars down the road. Yeah. So I realized like whenever I'm stuck in my business, I just have to hire a mentor or join a mastermind. Uh, soon after I hired Chris, I hired another guy named uh, Sam Bakhtiar. Seven figure Sam was his name, a very successful million dollar online coach and gym owner. Uh, he took me to the next level, took me from you know six figures to seven figures, then I joined a mastermind called the 25K Group. It was $25,000. It was one of the biggest investments at the time, but I just kept on 
investing and coaching and masterminds and yeah. each one just took me to the next level. Six figures, multiple six figures, and then a million dollars. And I realized if I'm ever stuck in my business, I just have to hire a mentor because um, I'm the type of person, I need accountability. I get into my head against analysis paralysis. When I have someone telling me what to do, AJ, you're too smart for your own good. Stop overthinking. Just do these three steps, come back to me. And that's the way. I, I never lose out by investing. Wow, that's amazing. So really every single, like you just said, every single time that you were kind of stuck with your business, you just seeked out someone who's been there already, who's teaching this, that exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. And that's really helped you every single time. Man, it's like so simple because right now, if someone wants to build an online fitness business, yeah, they can watch YouTube videos, they could read a book about online training, they could go on Reddit and get all this information or they could hire you and that investment will give them the skill sets, the understanding of online marketing, you help them find their exact target market, you teach them how to sell through online uh, sources, webinars, selling on the phone, and then most importantly, you give them a step-by-step -step virtual infrastructure so they have the templates, you give them like a business in a box. So within 12 weeks, they have their entire online business set up, they're profitable, and they don't have to train clients in the gym anymore. So yeah. it's like, you know, it's a no brainer. I, I tell everyone, it's like, um, I, I wanna start a business, whether it's an in-person business, online business, the first thing I say, hire a mentor. So that was my next question. <laughs> Who should hire a coach? Who should hire a mentor? You think anybody really qualifies? Well, I think the most important thing is to be coachable. Uh, you cannot hire a mentor if you're not gonna follow through on their step-by-step -step actions. Right. You gotta be coachable. You have to be an action taker. You have to be in a good place financially, right? Uh, if you don't have the finances, there are different sources of, of, of getting financing or borrowing money, but man, if you're stuck financially, investing in yourself is the best way to get unstuck. Yeah. So obviously being coachable is the number one thing and also having the resources and the time and implementing because some people will invest five, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 but won't do a damn thing. I've seen it happen, a lot of my friends, uh, they wanted the same success as me, they would hire the same mentors but they wouldn't show up to the coaching calls, they wouldn't take action on, on the, the, the steps. Yeah. It was like a waste of money, like why even hire someone if you're not gonna do what they're telling you to do. Yeah, no, I totally understand. So as I'm sitting here watching you, and we're all watching you, you're just so like passionate about obviously all of this whole subject. Um, what do you miss about online super coach or just the coaching, the whole type of coaching world? It seems like it's, you're yeah. just so passionate about it. Man, I, I just love like uh, when someone gets an insight. I love when I coach them and like a light bulb goes off and they shift their perspective of business, of marketing, of sales. I love teaching people how to make money online. Is that right? the stuff you miss? Oh yeah, I, I miss it so much. I miss working with personal trainers and basically getting them out of the gym instead of them trading hours for dollars. Now they have an online business. I see them traveling with their families. I see them going on vacations, um, not working 60, 70 hours inside of a dark dungeon gym. They're outside in the world enjoying life. They're leveraging themselves. Right. Maybe they have a handful of high value clients that they love training, but most of their income comes online. So I just missed that whole element because I've seen so many people go through online super coach, go to six figures, seven figures, become self-made millionaires. Uh, to this day, they are thanking me. A uh, gr great example, uh, Austin Gravitt, hey, one of my all-star students, right? He was a young 22-year-old kid, a personal trainer. He knew he wanted to go online. He hired me back in uh, 2016. Within one year, he took his business to six figures. He bought an apartment, and then uh, now he's killing it. He's one of the most successful online trainers on the planet. Austin Gravity has got a huge Instagram following and he actually started his own podcast and he said, AJ, you got me started on this journey. You were my best mentor. The first episode is with you. I want to interview you on my podcast. So within a few hours, I'm going to go and, yeah. <laughs> and, and he's going to interview me. So it's, it's really cool. That's a perfect uh, segue. I mean, it's, uh, that's, you can't make that up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm really honored. So. Obviously, you're very, still very passionate about a lot of this, but what, what is it that you don't miss about 
this world, online coaching. Online yeah, coaching. I mean, just like with, with any personal trainer, the most frustrating clients are the ones who make excuses, the lazy bastards, the ones who do not take action. Yeah. Oh, you know, I just, I'm just so busy. Uh, my wife, you know, I'm just fighting my boyfriend. I just don't have the time for this. Um, yeah, you have the time to watch Netflix. You have time to screw around. You don't have time to build a business. Then why invest in the first place? That would just kill me. People that would come on to a coaching call and have a notepad, fill out all the, okay, coach, I'll do this, this, and then next week, all right, cool. So what'd you get done on that list? Yeah. Nothing. What the hell? Like, wh why do you hire me? So that was like super frustrating. People that did not take action, they would pay the money, but they wouldn't take action. Um, I dealt with that a lot in the beginning because I didn't know how to filter them. And then I learned over time how to filter to attract more eagles and repel the chickens. Ah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, no, I totally hear you. I mean, uh, Elon Musk works 100 hours a week. You know, I mean, it's sometimes just a little bit of a surge getting your online business off the ground. You got to, yeah. it's like a rocket ship. You got to put a lot you of energy. You got to put in a lot of energy to create momentum. Yeah. And then Once you, momentum. you get to that lifestyle that you want. That's the first few months. You got to kind of burn the candle a little bit. Yeah. Legs. You're going from zero. You got to go to zero to a hundred. So uh, whenever someone joins online super coach, they have to be hungry to yeah, be yeah, an action yeah. taker because you know, they hop on a call with you. They have coaches that help them. And then from there, it's like they got this huge to-do list. You give them a step-by-step -step plan. You give them templates, a copy and paste. Uh, you just literally give them everything. It's like a done-for-you business in a box. All they got to do is implement it. Yeah. So once they get it going and they have their first few online clients, they have a solid sales process, they're building their back-end infrastructure, they are taking those action steps. And then within a year, they have a six-figure online business. It's growing. It's making more money than their in-person business. And they realize, like, wow, if I put more time and effort into this online program, it will make me significantly more money in the long term. I don't have to be an 80-year-old personal trainer. I can retire young, travel the world, spend time with my family, see my babies grow up, be at home. I, I, you know, so it's, it's like, yeah, put in that work. Put in the work for a few months. Yeah. Put your pin your ears back and work hard. That's it. it. There's no other way about it. Yeah. It's like, uh, you know, I want to build a phenomenal physique. I want to have, you know, bolder shoulders, a big chest, six pack. I want to look like, uh, you know, a, a superhero. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight. Like you can't just take a pill. You got to do the reps. You know, we, we had a phenomenal workout earlier this morning, 7 a.m., push it hard buys and tries. I mean, it sucks. I didn't want to work out. I was tired. I only slept two hours last night, but I'm not going to be a wuss and let you one up me during the workout. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to work out and then do this podcast. So yeah, I'm going to show up and do whatever it takes. Absolutely. That's the right uh, work ethic. So I've been meaning to ask you for a while, why did you sell online super coach? <laughs> yeah, it's a great question. You know, I think that for me personally, like every decade I go through a major transition. Uh, not the transition that you're thinking <laughs> yeah. of. I still identify not as a wrong with cisgender that. male, yes. But the transition of shifting my business, shifting my destiny. Now, I was a personal trainer in uh, two, the year 2000 is when I started, up until 2010 as my online training was building. Then I started doing online coaching. Then around 2020, I realized that who I was in 2010 is not who I am now. I'm not as passionate. And I realized like, okay, this is not sustainable. If I'm not wanting to just continuously help people build their online businesses and be the man that I was when I started this business, I need to find someone who is super passionate, the right fit that could take this to the next level because I'm not giving it my all if I'm not a 10 out of 10, right? If I'm not all in committed, to the business, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna flop and then the people could feel that, so. So why'd you sell to me? <laughs> well, man, you know, uh, of course, like, I was in a place where I hired a business broker and then a bunch of people started raising their hands and they were interested. Some people were giving me these low ball offers or they wanted to take over the business or it was like um, other type of entrepreneurs who just wanted to, build something and monetize it, but they really didn't care about the people's results. They just cared about making money. And I remember like the first combo I had with you, we connected because we're both uh, Long Island boys. You were a former personal trainer. You're a self-made man. 
you are so successful in your own right, not just financially, but also with your family, uh, with your wife, your three kids. Uh, I just saw this incredible heart that you have, and I just knew that if there's anyone to take over the business and take the torch, it'll be you. Oh, and I realized you. that you, you've accomplished so much success. And I remember like when you showed me um, the videos that you did, because during the pandemic, here at this incredible gym we were at, Sports Set, you did these videos and you had this amazing leadership role leading the community and being on television. And I'm like, wow, you have the it factor. And I think uh, people need to understand the story of Denison. They need to see that you came to this gym as a personal trainer, you built yourself up, you did every single job from making the shakes to cleaning the equipment and cleaning the toilets. So you learned everything in and out. You scaled this gym, you made it very successful. People are very happy. Uh, it's a phenomenal gym. And then from there, it's like, you could do anything. Uh, you obviously have other side businesses. So I thought it'd be really cool for you to finally um, step out from behind the scenes, be in front of the camera and teach people. So I just saw this incredible gift within you and I thought you were the perfect person to take it over. Yeah, well, thank you very much. I really appreciate those kind words. But yeah, I mean, I could definitely attest that from the first meeting, we just had like, we just connected really well. Yeah. And, it just seemed like we were long lost friends, you know. It seemed like one of those types of things, and yeah, you we just like, saw eye to eye on a, like, a lot of things, a lot of yeah. things. politics, and the, the <laughs> way the world is, and the way business is. And man, you treat people so well because I just remember meeting a lot of your employees, and they were so happy working for you. You created such a great culture, and you know, you pay people well. That's because we you get take rid of the care of them. Who, no, the duds. <laughs> You, you, you hire the, the, the rock stars. Yeah, and that's phenomenal, but um, not many people understand how to be a good leader, how to build a profitable business. You have multiple side businesses. You have a family, you have three kids, and you got a great physique. I mean, it's like, I, I don't know how you do it, right? I don't have a wife, I don't have a kids, I don't have multiple businesses. Sometimes I, I, I'm really inspired by you. Like, how do you do this all within the 24 hours and you don't get burnt out, so I really commend you on that. Thank you, thank you. Well, it's all about having the great, uh, great people around you, great people around you. A Good wife, yep. great like team members. Yep. Yeah. You can't do it without the right people. So. And I'm like, yeah. man, whatever you built is now you gotta teach to other people because man, you built something that is very inspiring for a lot of people. They want the dream of having a successful business, having a family, having fitness, being a good person in the community, being kind, compassionate, generous, like all these amazing qualities, I really respect you. Thank you. And uh, you have did it all at a fairly young age, so it's like, it's cool to see you now sharing that with other people and helping other entrepreneurs. Well, thank you very much, and uh, it's getting off the topic of me. <laughs> <laughs> Enough <laughs> about me, let's <laughs> yeah. talk more about me. <laughs> what about, what do you think about the state of the industry of online training? Do you think, you know, some people think that it's a, uh, COVID bubble. Do you think it's something that like peaked around COVID and now people are going back to the gym, getting back to normal? Or what, what do you think? You think it's going to keep going? Man, I just think online super coach is going to grow exponentially aligned with technology. Now, I saw back in 2009, 2010, people were first um, getting to the tip of the iceberg with online coaching. The technology was very simple, very rudimentary, but there was a way of people being coached remotely. A lot of people prefer that. Of course, the pandemic, people couldn't go to gyms. And also, people in other countries, they don't have the best personal trainers. Here in uh, North America, we have phenomenal certifications, nutrition, knowledge, someone who's in Zimbabwe, wants to hire a coach, maybe they don't have a good person locally, they could hire an amazing coach from New Jersey who understands them, could get them to their goals. Plus with the advent of technology, wearable technology, I have an aura ring, I have a Garmin, yeah. uh, all my data is now tracked, given to my coach. They make little changes in my nutrition, calories, macros, training. You know, So it's like people could coach you with this incredible technology, they could keep track of everything far better than going to the gym once or twice a week. And I feel not just with the increase of technology, artificial intelligence, software, wearables, but more people are gonna be on the internet. Um, I forgot the exact statistic, but I think only about like 30% of the world's population has like full internet access, wow. which is kind of crazy. 
Now all of these countries are going online and they're looking for a coach, looking for a mentor. And if you are that person and you live in a whole different country, now you can help them. Because if you have yeah. an online program, you can help people all around the world. The world is flat. Yes, it is. Yeah. And we never landed on the moon. It's like <laughs> everything's a conspiracy. And I think you're a reptilian lizard. So. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, the world is flat. I mean, like you could, you could really address anybody around in the world. Because oh, I, I thought you were a flat earther. No, no, oh, no, no. okay. I'm like, oh. I, my respect went a little lower for you. Because, yeah. <laughs> no, but with the advent of technology, you know, uh, the oceans and you know are, aren't really uh, as much of boundaries as they were before yeah. because of you know technology. So. You, you got this uh, amazing photo of Elon Musk. He's uh, one of my heroes. Actually, I invested into SpaceX. Uh, he has like an I IPO investor. I believe in SpaceX. I believe we're going to Mars soon. We'll be having colonies on Mars and you're gonna have Earth-based online trainers with Martian clients. Yeah. That's next level, man. That's, that's and amazing. you gotta be, you know, in, in, you know, you gotta be in this trend, otherwise you're gonna get left in the dust. So you think online coaching business is in a good state at this point? And yeah, great state. It's only gonna get better. Of course, there are eight billion people in the world currently. The population is growing, but Back when I started, there was a low understanding about what online training is. Now everyone has an online training package. You go on Instagram, online coaching, and you know, they, they could sell a $10 meal plan and they're an online coach, but the sophisticated trainers, the ones that hire mentors, the ones that go deep with their education and understanding of technology, wearables, marketing, uh, new advances, like, you know, you're phenomenal because you're constantly innovating and understanding new marketing strategies. Uh, the other day we were hanging out and you shared like this crazy marketing strategy. And I'm like, bro, like this would be so great to like share with personal trainers because the biggest thing is like getting clients and like you're learning new things to teach people. So it's not just like word of mouth or posting on Instagram or showing your ass and <laughs> promoting a program. No, it's it, there, there's so much ways to get clients all around the world if you just, you know, fine tune and, and innovate. Yeah, yeah. Well, th that's the shout out method that we were looking yeah. at. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that's, that's like a newer type of approach that's um, very, very high return on investment. It's essentially, uh, you, could, you could get 25X your return on investment. Wow. Uh, as high as that. And yeah. the reason why is, uh, it's kind of very simple, it's just uh, fun with numbers, but you know, you, you basically go to a page that your fault that your your clients are looking uh, will be at so, okay so uh, i'm just trying to understand this like uh because I, I i don't know the whole page method like i understand like the overview that you're basically running an instagram ad and for like 30 dollars on a page that yes. your clients would likely be on yeah so if if, if i am a plus size female and I'm following this place for plus size women who want to get fit, right? Right. So basically uh, a specific niche. Right. And they have different mentors or different pages. So or, those pages yeah. are typically administered a lot of times by kids or not very yeah. business savvy individuals. And you could advertise in a page for peanuts on the dollar, like ah. maybe ten dollars for a hundred thousand visit. You know, uh, wow. You know, if yeah. they have a hundred thousand followers, it could be as low as ten bucks. You know, that's insane. Three hundred thousand followers, thirty bucks. If you had a million followers, that could cost you a hundred bucks. Wow, wow. So you're really scaling. Yeah. And so when with post, like ten bucks, getting this huge audience right, to of see traffic, your view, and you yeah. want them essentially to drive to your personal Instagram page. So after you post that ad, you're going to see a huge uptick in people migrating to your page and start following you now. Mm. Because now like, oh, wow, you just said something interesting. They'll start following you. So if you post it on a page with, let's say, 300,000 followers, you might pick up 30 to 60 followers right out of the wow. gate just from that one post. So from there, you take those 60 people and you just start you know, messaging them, hey, thanks for the follow you know, soft messages to them. And you could wind up booking maybe six phone calls. <laughs> Damn, that's 60 solid. People. Yeah. And if no, you sell one yeah. of those 60 people or two of those 60 people, you know, a package of $750 each, let's say, 
There you go. You have fifteen hundred dollars in in revenue from a thirty dollar investment. Yeah, that's insane. I mean, definitely, it's getting a twenty five times ROI. So for every dollar you put in, you get twenty five dollars back, right? You put yeah. ten dollars, is you know two hundred fifty dollars, and keeps going up. And what I love about the method is that anyone could do it. You don't need a, a large Instagram following. You literally give the step-by-step -step process. Yeah. There's a strategy of like, here's how to go to the Instagram ad section. Here's to go find a page to target. Here's how to generate the ad. And they just pay the $10 on their credit card and yeah, they get like just pay a power. boatload yep. of leads that are coming in. And then obviously once they get all the leads, what do they do? Yeah. What's the next step, you well, know? Well, once yeah. they get the leads, you gotta start messaging them and try to sell them. Yeah. yeah. And the cool, cool thing is you teach them uh, everything, right? You teach them not just how to get the clients, the online leads, but also the sales process. Yep. And then once they buy, how to build a virtual infrastructure yeah, to we actually- Yeah, put that yeah. all in, the, in this book that we, this ebook that we created and we're giving it away for free right now. Oh, oh, wow, yeah. oh, cool. So that's what you saw the other day. Yes, yes, wow, I mean, that's yes, great. Cause like I was saying like, uh, this strategy is going to help a lot of trainers because yeah. everyone needs more leads. It's super easy. And now you created an actual book that people could access and it's free, right? Yeah, it's free. Yeah. Yeah. What's the website for? It's, it's onlinesupercoach.com forward slash IG. Okay. Online supercoach. Okay. Yeah, no, cause I'll definitely send it to a lot of my friends. Cause I, I also know that other businesses, not just online, like, brick and mortar businesses, Indeed, they could right. utilize this method Absolutely. to get more customers, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. So it's just a very unique and And, and you don't need a lot of followers yeah. for Instagram to do this, but you will, as a side effect, you're oh, gonna wow. get a lot of followers on Instagram. I mean, you're gonna pick up lots I mean, and lots of followers. Who doesn't want more followers, yeah. you know? So. so like, hypothetically, if someone spends $20 um, how many followers could they add to their audience? Twenty dollars. It's well. Usually, what's a good metrics is you want to have between fifty cents to a to a dollar per follower. So if you're doing so for twenty dollars, you could get as little as twenty followers or as many as forty followers. Wow, and that's the key. Once you get the followers, you, you do that every need to day learn how to month, convert them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's the thing. There's like no shortage of clientele. I yeah. think whenever people say, oh, I need more leads, or no one wants to buy my program, wah, wah, wah. Yeah. It's like, no, you're not looking in the right places. There are strategies, there are mentors, there are programs that will teach you how to get clients, how to sell right. clients, how to coach them outside of the gym. Yeah, that's what's so good about it is that there's a lot of people that are selling, you know, uh, to increase your Instagram followers list, but a lot of times that's a bad idea because they're selling not real leads. Whereas this method, you're, you're picking up followers who are people who are interested in your services. Mm. That's why it makes you know, so much sense. And yes, using, very specific. Using your example of 20 bucks a day, if you do that for a month, let's say it's 20 hours a day, you pick up 40 followers a day times, that's 1,200, you can pick up 1,200 followers a month mm. with a $20 a day investment. And those followers are all people who are interested in your business. Yeah, I mean, duh, it's like a no-brainer. Cause like that's, that's the thing I see about coaching. Like I always saw how investing is so important. Like I always got an ROI in it, right? So when I had my fitness business, lifefuelfit.com, uh, basically I had a $1,000 package and a $5,000 package. Yeah. Uh, my mentor taught me to sell longer terms, like six months, and then have a VIP, like, really immersive, higher ticket package. And I would sell the $5,000 package over the phone. So I looked at even this mentor, Chris, the first person that I hired. So if I'm selling a $5,000 program, I just need to make one sale and I pay for the coaching. Right. So I get all this knowledge, all these new, and, and that's why I looked at it, that I was a big believer in selling multi-thousand dollar programs and then hiring mentors joining masterminds, going to coaching programs, and I would make four or five sales and I would make a return on my investment yep. and just make a ton of profit. And that was like so many people that I knew made millions of dollars utilizing that method. Yeah. They have a high ticket offer, they hire the right mentors, join the right programs, and they just 
multiply, get multiple ROIs on their initial investment, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely got to focus on the detail because you don't want to just do the offer and then not, you know, and not follow up on all those leads and everything. Oh, like yeah. That. That's what I mean. You got to be an action taker. You yeah. have to be, you know, because it's like, if I have a coach, I'm going to get on every single coaching call, follow every single action step he gives me. If I do this shout out method and I get like a hundred leads, I have to DM every single people and then get them on a phone call. Maybe out of those hundred people, 15 of them decide to hop on a fall. Right. I do 15 sales calls. I sell 50% of them, right? So That's a lot of money. Yeah, seven people at $5,000. I'm not very good at math, but I know that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's really, really good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made it this far and I sucked at math. That was always my, my worst <laughs> subject in school. Thank God for calculators. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the evolution of technology. <laughs> so well, it was a pleasure seeing you again. Are you Now that you worked out with me today, are you gonna start to you know lift a little bit heavier weights and yes. change, change your, little, your yes. workouts a little bit? That's the great thing about working out someone who pushes you beyond your limits because uh, I had a really bad accident and I tore my left quadriceps. I've been really scared to injure myself or, or tear a muscle. And uh, Dennis has started increasing the weights and I've not done heavy weights in quite a long time. And uh, as I was explaining to him that Dennis and uh, you could go heavy, I'll go a little bit lighter. I don't want to get injured. And you said, AJ, stop being a bitch. <laughs> and I said, okay, yeah. well, I am being a bitch and I'm making excuses. So you gotta embrace your fear. Yes, yeah. yes. And I realized, you know what? I think I'm just overthinking getting injured. And uh, you know, I could push a little bit harder, yeah. not do stupid poundages, but do it far more than I'm doing now. And it was just a great insight I had. And you know, now I'm gonna approach training differently. Yeah, Cause I, I learned a lot even training with you uh, these last few sessions. So, yeah, I said, yeah. you know, Batman was afraid of bats and he became bat, he embraced his fear. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Joseph Campbell has a great quote. Uh, the cave that you fear holds a treasure that you seek. Right, exactly. It's exactly the same thing. Exactly. Well, it was great having you uh, here with uh, back at headquarters. You're always yes, welcome back yes. anytime uh, you want. Look forward to seeing you hopefully Saturday for the fight. For the yes, UFC. yes, yes. Uh, we love our UFC championships. It's a really good one this Saturday. And yes, I will likely uh, stop Usman. by. And uh, yeah, Leon Edwards, I feel like Usman Engagey, is going to... Justin Gagey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Usman is going to get his title back. That's me. But it's a great story to see the champion redeem himself. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. It's been good being here in New York and uh, being at, at your phenomenal gym in Long Island and at headquarters, hearing about all the cool ideas. So yeah, thanks yeah. for having well, me. Always welcome and I look forward to seeing you again. Cheers. <laughs>